Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. So today's a big day. Mm. Today is National Skip School Day. And it's on the calendar. You know, every day is a national something. I just disagree. I don't think that it is. I don't think it is where I grew up, and I don't think it is where you grew up. Not at because all. Because it's too cold. Yeah, no. <laughs> so being, you're from Boston, I'm from New York, and I believe there was like a, a senior skip day, yeah. and that was in like the end of the year. It's like it was April like or after May. prom, what after do you do? Stop yeah, me from graduating. yeah, 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 yeah. And and I did skip school one time in my entire life yeah. in 11th grade and I got caught and my mom thought she was she even told me you don't get caught the first time I'm like obviously I'm not very good at it like because <laughs> this is 100% the first time I've ever skipped school yeah I just I don't know we it wasn't a a thing for for my group of friends I don't know I I was not a uh, a skipper per se but I would occasionally get I would very often get there late. So you <laughs> so just would skip like a class. I, skip a, a, I was more of a class skipper okay. than I was a skipper, like a day skipper. Uh, but I would get there late for first period, I don't know, let's say a quarter of the time. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it like was, on purpose though. No, I just hate waking up early in the morning. Uh -huh. The fact I'm here is a miracle. <laughs> it means I like it. Yeah. Um. But then uh, I would also like, you know, towards the end of the day, I know I'm doing it right in a class, be like, nah, I'll just go home. Yeah. <laughs> See, I and there was this one door. It was right through the TV station, because we had a TV station, at uh -huh. our, uh, a public access station at our uh, high school. There's just one door. It's like, boom, clear shot. There's my Volkswagen. Drive home. <laughs> See, we. I think that they were just. Maybe my school was like a Fort Knox of some sort because we were like not able to to just leave. Like there was um, offices and and secretaries at all at the, every door do, at the doors, and they were locked. So if you wanted to leave, you had to like ask somebody to unlock it so like you're we were trapped in there we couldn't even like there wasn't like a courtyard like people would go outside we weren't able to do that that sounds like a fire hazard well if there was if the fire alarm went off then everything unlocks automatically yeah that sounds like a very expensive endeavor we were it was a nice school it was a really so nice school class of 04 Yes. I'm class of 02. Uh-huh. So maybe in that two years, maybe they there got was a an little infusion of cash. <laughs> yeah. like there was like a 9-11 fund for, you know, modernizing schools right. that came in because that was not there when I was I was going. Now, sure. See, it was even so much so that like, I, maybe it was because it was a smaller school, but it was big for where we were. Yeah. Um, but there was one guy uh, that for our graduation, he he had his, you know, he graduated. He had all his credits and everything. He just didn't want to go to graduation and we waited for him. And a teacher went to his house and got him out of bed and was like, we got to graduate. Are we gotta, you kidding me? I swear. So I was like, so we are all there, which is pretty cool. I mean, everybody. That's not a city. That's a town. <laughs> no, well, I mean, every, that, people argue that all the time. It's but we are a city, technically a city, but it's a town. <laughs> but it's a city. Cities don't wait for you. I don't know. I Cities mean, I think we flunk. had a really, um, we just had a really like loving. Uh, uh, city, I guess. I mean, everybody knew everybody. Everyone knew me because my mom and dad went to that school and everyone knew my mom. So they're like, oh yeah, you're yeah. a lot like her. <laughs> We're going to keep our eye on you. <laughs> That's probably why I couldn't skip. <laughs> yeah. My, see, the, it was a weird thing with my dad. My dad knew like half the faculty. He went to school with all of them. Mm -hmm. You know, my, uh, my seventh, my fourth through eighth grade principal, my dad went to school with. It was, he was in his class, Mr. Lillo. So like my dad, so seventh grade, I'm getting picked on constantly. And uh, and I'm just like so butthurt about it. Like every day I'm coming home mm -hmm. in tears. And my dad's like, he goes to Mr. Lillo. He's like, I'm going to pull my kid out of school. I was in uh, honors class. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull my kid out of school. It's like May. This class is going on for another month. And he'll be back next year. But I'm going to toughen him up over the summer. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Lillo was like, cool. <laughs> and oh back my then, God. they would just do it. They'd sign off. Yeah, it was yeah, done. Yeah. Like, you know, you could do that. You can't do that now. You'd have an absolute felony. Oh, my case. gosh. I know. Yeah. I know it. it. It was so much easier back then to, <laughs> to get away with do things. You, do you or did you skip school? 702-597-1027. We have a truancy <laughs> officer ready to report to your house any moment and force you to retake those classes.